Hello. So we go further ahead on the on the personal transformation journey that I was talking about last time. Um, from the previous video, if you may remember, and quickly take you through the earlier three four steps, which was it started from regularly self-observing, then self-analyzing, then that leads to some certain kinds of realizations about oneself and a particular kind of self-acceptance that yeah, this is what it is or at the root cause or at, at a deeper place, this is what is causing whatever for me to not grow, for me to not move, all those things. Now, so far, good. The journey of transformation is sometimes even when certain realizations come up or even if we have to accept certain sides of us is is difficult is difficult um, i've seen people uh, you know breaking down sometimes when they realize that their depression of so many years was nothing but a way to escape that they have continuously escaped to the sad place because there wasn't enough courage inside to do what they needed to do to stand up for themselves or to change their lives. So there is there is um, sadness, there is a lot of uh, difficulty or pain when self-realization and self-acceptance of different kinds happen. But still I feel as someone who's been so involved in the transformation of people that it's still not as difficult as what is going to come, which is, according to me, the fulcrum of personal transformation, and that is the step of self ownership. It's a place where whatever understanding of what is going wrong for me is already gotten created, is already there, and unlike medicine, that you know, okay with the doctor and I, I came to know that you know I have malaria and then I will have to take quinine and if I take quinine it will go away. The difficult part in psychotherapy is that there is no quinine. There is no tablet that can quick fix me and everything will go away. In fact the other way around I am the quick fix or I am the longer term or the final fix. I have to take a decision during self-ownership that if this is what is happening in my life what am I doing to maintain this? Either I can be I, I can continue to be upset with my boss and keep on saying oh all authority figures don't you know listen in and this and that or I can internally actually want something from my wife but have an inability to say that and keep remaining upset about it from within that you know she doesn't understand me or whatever or I can be this woman who is like, you know, self-sacrificing or tyag ki murti as we call her and then internally just keep feeling self-pity all the time that, you know, you know, my life is about nothing and just doing all this for everyone. Either I can continue to be all of this or I can choose for myself what is it that really makes me happy? What is it that is naturally me? What is it that are my deeper needs, my needs for attention, my needs for love, my need for being uh, taken care of, my need to be heard, my need to be visible, my need that somebody understands me deeply. What is it that I really need for me to be healthy, for me, me to be peaceful, for me to grow? And if these are my needs and if this is my life, am I wanting to do something about it? It's a stage where we realize that if we are the guardian of our life, our identity, then we need to move. If I don't do something about my issues, if I don't actively make changes, not in the people outside, not in the situations outside, but within me, I, I decide that from tomorrow, in little, little ways, I want to become a different person. I want to be someone who takes care of myself. I want to be someone who who prioritizes my health, who prioritizes my basic, you know, emotional needs, who prioritizes that I have a right to talk. 
that I take ownership of whatever it is that I need to change because eventually it's my peace, my happiness, my growth and if I don't do it for myself, who else will? My experience is that all those people who are able to cross that halka and really say to themselves that boss, I'm worthy enough. I am worthy of my own attention. I am worthy of taking that step towards positive growth. Are the people who will move on in their transformation journeys and for the ones who for whatever reasons give up, don't you know feel too scared to become somebody that they are they have not been till that moment are not able to cross over that bridge. Sometimes Nothing in life comes for free, right? So sometimes for transformation, the biggest thing that I have to learn to let go or learn to be okay to lose is my earlier self. I have to be okay to let go of uh, giving myself any reasons, any excuses, you know, holding any unnecessary bitterness. I have to stop being that person at all. And I have to learn to be a new person and for a lot of people, that's so difficult, it's so scary. How do I let go of all that that I have been for so many years? It's just too, it's, it, it may be weird and unhealthy, but I know this. It's comfortable, it's, it's known to me, it gives me security. But then, if I, as a person, if I keep choosing that, how will I grow? All growths, all transformation, like everything else in life, needs risk taking. I need to risk it. Am I worthy of that risk? At that time, if you are at that place, you know, and you feel that you understand what you need to do, you are wanting to take ownership, but you feel pulled back by your own self, express it to your therapist, express it to your personal transformation coach or agent that right now I need you to support me, to motivate me, to push me, because I want to cross over that falcrum on that side.